Guten Morgen. Shantae Brown Sugar Talk on the Brown Sugar Talk on all channels. I don't know what's going on with my camera. Like, it's like, it's foggy. It's foggy, y'all. Let me see. I'm like, why is it so foggy? Like, what the? What the F is going on, Bridget? What the F? That's a little better. But, yeah, my camera. I'm trying to move this light to him, but I took four to go. Okay, let me get YouTube started. Thank you for listening to the podcast. Thank you. Shante, brown sugar talk and the brown sugar talk. Y'all, this new song. Mm, mm, mm. Imported. I'm still with imported, but. That's what I like. Lost my. Okay. Um, Instagram, I'm using the filter. I didn't use one um back in the corner today. I really like my face today, though. I don't. I probably don't need a filter. Seriously, I just like my face. Uh, Instagram today. Um, today is all about. I think it's affirmations for anxiety. Affirmations for anxiety. So let's talk. Because yesterday I had an anxiety attack. I could not control what I was going through at all. I don't have a like, simple person. I know it's like, look at this one. Why do I look like my heart is like missing? I don't know. Um, anyway, I had an anxiety attack, so I was like, let me do this affirmations for anxiety. I'm still on Instagram, y'all. I'm talking to Instagram. Instagram has a nice story. Okay, there we go. Shantae, brown sugar talk, and brown sugar talk on all channels. On Spreaker, on Facebook, and on YouTube. So I think I'm going to keep checking the so I can make sure the videos are still going. Anyway, um, let's talk about affirmations for anxiety because yesterday I actually had an anxiety attack. And I actually started going back and forth with the stalker. Knowing it was a stalker, I actually was like thinking, okay, this is a stalker. I didn't, I don't realize that it's a stalker until after I sit down and calm down. It's like I just had a conversation with a stalker, you know, and that's what they stalker me for, so I can argue with them. So it's like, I can't stop an anxiety attack. I cannot stop the PTSD. I can't stop anything at that moment because that's all I'm concerned about. Right now, I'm really not concerned about doing this. So, that's it. Um, today I'm going to use the lotion. I think I'm going to put lotion on instead of the oil. is like kind of oil. That's my face. Okay, so the first one. It feels like this feeling will never pass, but I know it will. So, this is something you go through too when you're younger. And if you really have anxiety and you, have, and you don't know, it's better for you to know and know what it is that you're doing. You have PTSD and you don't know. That's something. Because have you ever been like in a situation where you just feel afraid? Like it's like you actually are afraid and it's like, and it might be something so minuscule, like, oh my god, I walked in the room and I said hi to everybody. And it's like you actually have something in your stomach that's telling you that you don't fit in. Sometimes it's a warning, too. Like, if you go in and you say hi to everybody and they have feelings about it, like some type of strange feeling about it, then it is something wrong. Then it is something going on. But if you walk in the meeting and it's just you that has those feelings, and you feel uncomfortable, maybe it's imposter syndrome. You see what I'm saying? So sometimes you need to really pay attention to those feelings because there's something else going on. It's 
Um, it could be just something else going on. It could be a warning. You gotta pay attention to your body. It could just be you and your feelings. So it's always like, you know, pay attention to your body. But for real, it, that too shall pass. Don't get to a point where you gotta hurt yourself and all that different stuff because other people make you feel like you don't belong to you. That's not the only place in the world you can be. I know that's hard too. Like, when I was going through all this stuff, I was just like, I don't need to come back to this job. Like, I actually want to walk out. And, um, but I had high rent. We lived in a nice area. My son needed clothes and shoes. And so people tell you to go through that, but I'm telling you, no clue. I'm for real. Make a, make a decision to budget. That's what I did, too. So I knew after that I wasn't going to be a teacher. If they had the power to stop me and come to school with it, Try to change what I'm doing. You know what? Nope, I'm not doing it. I'm not gonna do that. So I made a plan to not be a teacher no more. Or a designer of a school. You know what I'm saying? I could be a designer of a school, but I'm not teaching anybody. You know, it's just like I can't. What, what decisions can I make? Like? You see, so it's like, don't get to that point. Because I got to that point too where I felt like, oh my God, I hurt myself. Oh, you... Nope. It's because somebody else is doing something to you. you that, take that as a new one. Okay, if you still got those feelings in your girl, pay attention to your body. What's going on in your room? Because it might not be right for you. Make a plan and get the fuck out. That's all I'm telling you. I know I'm going to be okay because I always am. Um, that's something else you got to put in your head. Like I told you, Black like, women for real, we be having plan A. You be like, girl, so they ain't had the stuff on sale. She be, no, go to this store and get, go to Dollar General and get, you see what I'm saying? It's like, oh, they don't have that job. Okay, go to her. It's like they always got a plan. Like, we for real got a plan A through Z. I think black men too, we keep a plan. Because we already know. You can see me and not give me what I want. And baby, but I'm going to get what I want. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, we always have. An alternative. Girl, I know somebody that can make it to me can get that. You ain't gotta go through anything like for real. So you think you but that ain't gonna break me. That's how you gotta be. It's not gonna break me. It's not unbreakable. And I think sometimes they just really kill you. I can't say it's always black me. It's just really kill you. Because you'll meet another woman. She just cut you like, girl, you done made a boo. You made a broom out of bridge. It's still like, wait, <laughs> she really is making a way out of no way. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, did you use this? I mean, for real. Was that from a fern tree? You be like, girl, I'm sorry, but you the shit. <laughs> you can't do nothing else but give her props, man. Hey, I be like, this is some real stuff right here. Meet another woman from another culture, you'd be like, girl, you know how to do it. You'd be the best thing you never had in your life. Okay. Um, I'm capable of overcoming this feeling. You are. Any feelings of anxiety, you are always capable of coming over those but overcoming those feelings. That is not true. You understand? I'm telling you, it's a warning. And if the quicker you learn it, it's a warning, the better I will be. Don't start trying to figure them out. Don't attach yourself to them. Detach yourself and figure you out. Figure out if you can say them and take it. Figure out if you're going to give it back. Whatever. See what I'm saying? Because you're not wrong. Get any decision you make, that's not going to be wrong for you. It's going to go to hell. Especially if somebody wants to be But figure that out. The drive too long, and you think the kid is bad, or your boss ugly. You know, you gotta figure all that out. So, let's get Um, I have survived this feeling before, and I will survive this feeling again. Because y'all do feel like it is the end of the world. As we know it, and you have to remember that, that you are 
great. You have to be gracious to yourself. Don't just, oh my God, I didn't turn it in on time. And it could just be over-exaggeration. Because I'm going to tell you this, all the people they like, they didn't turn it in on time either. They probably waiting on you to say they turned it in on time. So that's the thing too. You can't. Do that. And so they, that's something else that was going around me. They'll let everybody else do something or get away with something. And then when it came to me, it'll be the end of the world because I didn't do it the way they thought. Well, I already had my turn in. But if I did it one time, they'll just try to make a big deal out of it. Like if you don't kiss my black ass. <laughs> because bitch is still going to be better than any shit you ever got in your life. So that's something else. You could be good. They could pop it, didn't it? They'll say it's self-sabotage, but they could be basically sabotaging you. You see I do a good job and you can't acknowledge my good work? What the fuck? Okay, um, this is just a, a panic attack, not a heart attack. And that's it, panic. I'm talking about panic. Only thing I don't do now is destroy the room. I used to destroy the room. I used to turn, and it, it'd be my own room. Don't worry, I don't tear up other people's shit. But it'd be my own room. I destroyed the fucking room. And then I have to clean up the whole house. But I would destroy the room. I done broke so many fucking mirrors. I'm not joking. So I can't keep thinking that that's going to cause me bad luck. But it's a panic attack. Um, I, yeah, I destroy a room. I'm not playing, y'all. So, uh. That's it. It's a panic attack. It's a panic attack. So you can sit down and breathe. You're not dying. You don't have to go to the hospital. I used to go to the hospital every time. You're not dying. You don't have to go to the hospital or anything like that. Just sit down and breathe. And like I said, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. By the third time, it feel like you took a fucking Xanax. So you can do that at least 10 times. And I'm talking about you will feel good. Believe me, you will. Plant your feet in the floor. Sit your ass down and breathe. That's it. And then remember, create a plan and get the fuck out of there. Usually, it's a situation that you just don't need to be in. It was not ordained by you. And you yourself are your own Jesus, your own God, whatever you believe in. You yourself are it. Okay? So, you yourself know how to help you. Y'all, I'm looking at the word today. It's Corvine. Man, I've heard this, had this word, skookum. And it means, like, big. And it's like, that word is so odd, skookum, for it to mean like something big and large or something like that. And so it's like, if you have like a, a skookum of lot, a skookum, a skookum of knowledge, a skookum of, lot of knowledge, that is like, whoa, that, I mean, a scoop, that, like they were, like that's basically what you have, a scoop a skookum of knowledge. It's S-K-O-O-K-U-M. And it's such an odd word to describe to describe something so big, but it's so playful. And so it's just like that is like such a great word. I, it's just it just stay with me, skookum. Okay, I have all the internal and external resources I need to get through this. You do. You got everything you need. And if you don't, make a plan and get the fuck out. That's it. Find another job. Find something else to do. Get away from them because that is something that will actually just it won't be good for your health you got to think about the health of you so that's it affirmations for anxiety just make sure that you say positive and love yourself through it all because it's actually not you it's somebody else it's a warning that's what i've been learning it's a warning have a great day I am ending the podcast. Have a good day.